YouTube Knife Community, what's going on, guys? I got a pretty good one for you today. Uh, this is a little different than what I usually do. I'm usually doing a tabletop, but we really don't need a tabletop for this one because we pretty much know the measurements and we know what the 112 looks like. I just want to bring you guys a quick, quick video. Um, right now, Buck has a uh, web exclusive going on. They have some great knives on there right now. Um, go check out Buck's website. You can get some great knives for, for real good money um, in all in all different blade steels and, uh, you know, different bolsters like the nickel silver bolsters. I want to show you guys this one right here, guys. Uh, I'm not going to prolong this. I got this in today. Now, obviously, this just is all fingerprinted up because I've already uh, been holding this. I'm not even cleaning it up because this is going to be an EDC knife. I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna EDC this, EDC this knife every day um, for a while. I love the 112 and uh, I got this from Buck's website. This is the 112 with the nickel silver bolsters, your genuine ebony handle as we all know. But what's different about this one guys, great snap is it has that drop point blade. I just love, love that drop point blade. I mean, it's a great, the drop point as we all know is just a great versatile blade that uh really will get the job done um very versatile and uh you know to be honest i like it more than the clip point you know we're used to seeing these 110s and these 112s in the clip point uh style blade and you know they're classics they're tried and true classics but though the draw point you're going to have more of a durable blade uh if you look at the thickness on there look at the thickness of that all right and i'm going to compare that to the clip point but that's a real good thickness on that blade uh, where you're going to be able to get your EDC task done and uh, not have to worry about it, you know, snapping or, or, or as much as the clip point blade um, or breaking off the tip. Um, real quick, we can take a look here. Even though it's a 112, oh, even though it's a one, I'll pick that up later. <laughs> even though it's a 112, I mean a 110, it's still the same as the regular 112, but... See how much smaller that is, guys, at the end? Um, that clip point just comes down. I'm trying to let it to get it to focus here. Uh, it's not going to. But anyways, you can see it. Um, what if I do this here? See how much uh, thinner that is, guys? You know, and I've actually broke the tips off of 110s and 112s before. Um, you know, just by doing light tasks. And that's the truth I really have. But when we look at the draw point, you're going to see how much thicker that is. Now you can really see the difference. Um, that's, that's a major thing that I wanted to show you guys. And that's a reason why, you know, I just went with this draw point blade. But yeah, if you guys are looking for a 110 or 112, go over to uh, Buck's website. They have these right now. You can get this in uh, 420HC for under 100 bucks, or you can get it in S30V. For like a hundred and I don't know, was it 118? You'd have to go over and look. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful functional knife, guys. Um, you know, as you can see here, I've been collecting bucks now for a while, and a lot of them, you know, a lot of them I have. Those are my 112s. They're all in clip point blades. Um, you know, and then the 110 clip point blade. You know, this one here is one of my favorite knives. That knife right there. That's the. Um, the Duke 500 and that Duke 500 the reason why I love that is because of the blade shape just real quick taking a look at the Duke 500 um, you have that pretty thick um, blade on there and then that draw point blade is just absolutely beautiful you have your micata but this isn't a review about this you can go over and check out my reviews on uh, or my review on this knife um, if you go you know go check that out I have that up um, but just a beautiful knife. I love that blade shape. And uh, yeah, Buck just knocked it out of the park with this one, guys. They really did. You know, um, obviously when you have the light shining on it, you're going to see, you know, you're going to see this, the, all the smudges and everything. But if I was to show you this without the light on it, like it is, it's just, you know, you wouldn't see all that. But again, guys, I'm EDC in this knife. Um, you got a great, great purchase on this as well. If you guys know the 112, which I'm sure most of you do, you get a great, great purchase on the 112. And I always say that because of this curved bolster up at the front here. Um, you know, the 112s all have that curved bolster. And uh, your finger, 
just melts right into that grip. Whereas the 110 doesn't have that curved bolster. You can see how it's just straight across and you know, your your hand, which this is a, this is actually a 1987 finger groove, um, but it, it, it still, I'm talking about the front bolster. It doesn't have that curve, you know, where, where it kind of sinks in, whereas the 112 does. And that's, you know, that's what I like about the 112. I also like the blade length, three inch blade length, uh, blade length. I can't talk to you uh, today, guys. <laughs> but uh, for EDC, that's all I need, you know, to get my regular EDC task done. All I need is that three inch blade, guys. I mean, uh, most of my tasks, you know, every day you can get done with that blade. But anyways, guys, I'm going to keep this short to the point right now. Buck's website, they have web exclusives going on. Check out what they have. They have other knives other than this. But this is the uh, the Buck 112 and the draw point blade. Just a great, great knife. Um, before I go, I guess, I guess I'll show you the sheath. We all know the sheath that comes with it. You know, so if you like to sheath knives, the sheath comes with it. Anyways, guys, I appreciate all of you. You know, we'll uh, talk to you in the next one. Me and uh, Big J, we have a live this Saturday. Check that out. That's going to be at 6 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Central. Love seeing all of you there. If you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe. If, you know, and if you're not new, <laughs> for everyone I know, like the video. It helps. I appreciate you guys. Talk to you on the next one. Take care.